So, E3. Oh, E3 is the best, am I right, guys? Uh, but this? first, people need to know our names. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. This is Alan. Paul. And Steve. Anthony. Either or. Well, you, know, you know what? It feels kind of weird when we just have our first names. I'm so used to hearing podcasters shout their whole names. Why? It's like saying that uh, uh, Matt and Pat would like, say their full names. Well, I don't know their name. Or Wooly. I don't no, know. They don't name. even introduce themselves at that point. Oh, because they're popular. But, you know, I'm listening to the last podcast on the left, and he's like, Hello, I'm Henry Zabrowski. And yes. then, you know, it just feels more natural when you're hosting a show to say your full names. Matt's full name is so, Matt Kowalski. So yeah, instead yeah. of saying our full names... Let's just name ourselves after celebrities. Hi, I'm Steve Larson. No. And you're... I'm President Paul, who... who Manafort. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm you're Paul Alan... G- <laughs> Alan Wake. Okay, that makes I'm sense. I'm Alan Wake. Wait, no, I'm Paul Giamatti. There we go. Uh, there you go, that works. <laughs> nah. For some reason, Alan Trudeau pops to mind, but I don't think that's a real person. I don't know that is. Because it's the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Why the fuck are you bringing a Canadian that? Prime Minister? Because Trudeau. Only, you know the only Canadian that matters? Alan Trudeau works. All, now, only Kenny Omega is the only Canadian that matters in this world. But about, yes. There's a lot of Canadian voice actors that are popular. Yeah, maybe. And famous. Maybe. Maybe, maybe they matter. Maybe a lot of people I'm not aware of aren't they like find the, out. Isn't the ocean not, subs, uh, like dubs, I mean, of uh, Dragon Ball Canadian? Yes. A lot. Yeah. They are. Alright, there's that. I don't give a shit about them. Right. So well, weird. you've heard it from everybody else, and now you get to hear it from us again, but this time a week later than everyone else. E3 yeah. news. Yes. And our impressions and all the cool shit we're looking forward to. Alright, just letting you know, uh, I went to EA Play. Alright. And it was better than last the last time I went. But it was EA Play is not amazing unless you really are a play, like just a tasteless casual. Okay. Because it has FIFA, obviously FIFA, all the new FIFA, Madden, NBA. There was a UFC. I actually play more UFC because no one was playing it, and I was just it was like the fighting, the only fighting game there. It is a fighting mm. game, a sports fighting game. For yeah, I figured it that when I tried the demo and was like, this is almost like a fighting game. And it's I wrecked really everyone, and it was fun. All right. But guess what? This is the funny part. Uh, Battlefront. Mm. By the time I was like, like, like two hours before they closed, or three, it was so empty. They were calling people out. Hey, who wants to come over? Come on! <laughs> there was no line, and you can't even play, play like four or five times without even having to move. But who were you playing against? A bunch of people. Just like, where? And you can't play. Oh, but you said it was empty. Yes, it was all. Like, How would they populate all sixty-four players? Uh, well, they like, called in people, yeah. even the homeless dudes. Yeah, we got them. <laughs> we even got people who weren't even part of the event. Someone outside, hey, you want to play Battlefront? We kind of feel bad in that. Yeah, like, no one's no. buying our game. <laughs> we really fucked up. We swear. Yes. Uh, yeah, this kind of involves the also like the whole presentation of EA. Yeah, 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 it was so lame. But okay, uh, they also had um, Battlefield Five, which is surprisingly more fun than the other ones mm. I got to kill more people than normal oh. and it's more fast paced not arcade-ish yet but it's a bit more fast paced than sniper rifles have hit scan yet uh maybe I, I, didn't use I don't want to play it if they don't I didn't use a sniper fuck sniper rifles with realistic drop off yeah it's the worst but you know what was the worst line I had to do what for Anthem but there was no gameplay alright it was just a presentation and we were dying in the heat and I was like, people were like melting in front of me. Well, that sounds dumb. Yes. Hey, were there any cosplayers there? The Anson ones? No, oh, alright. <laughs> they look great. No, actually, they were great. They were like, they, they, they were huge because they're like, you know, power armors. It must and there was really this, hot in there. And there was, yeah. speaking of hot, there was this really <laughs> hot cosplayer mechanic girl from there. I was like, Nice. From Anthem or yeah, from Anthem. I don't even know. She those. looks like what's her name from Overwatch? The okay. Bridget. Yeah, she looks like Bridget, but Jill Valentine's hair. Pictures, no pictures. Yeah, I didn't even know there were characters ah. in Anthem. Weird. Yeah, there are characters. Yeah, you that. play as a character. Yes. No, you play as okay, a robot. Okay, but um, you play that as is a character. Robot but not that is a character. You know what I mean? Oh characters that have dialogue <laughs> that you're attached to <laughs> care about. Uh, yes, there are. Okay. Because all I ever see okay, from Anthem. Okay. Now is I can tell you because I don't. I don't think they showed this. I didn't Destiny. see the game. I don't see. I didn't watch the whole presentation. But they pretty much put us in a room. 
with AC, thank God. And they had mm-hmm. like four people playing it, you know, like, hey, we're going to play it, what are you going to watch? Mm-hmm. And it's Destiny in third person. You can fly around, you have different abilities, like in Destiny. Uh, it seems like they balance the whole. I don't know, did they do that in Destiny? No, yeah, they balance in this one. That, oh, if a level one motherfucker comes and joins in, uh, they, he'll be balanced with the other ones. Alright. Uh, Destiny doesn't do that. They yeah. just don't pair you with anyone. Yes. Or rather, they try to pair you with people in your in your level No, this group. one you can But do. Um, the overworld enemies in Destiny are all fixed level. All yeah. the, the, There's never a level 20 drag. They're always oh yeah, the same. That's tr- I remember that. Yeah. But in this, in this one, like you can just pop in and join and it seems like more accessible, I guess? Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's some little bit of story it seems, like some characters in there, and you can go underwater, underwater fights on yes. the air. They ignored a big cool monster that they were gonna fight. They were fight. You were fight. They fought it for like a half second. Its, they avoided its missiles. No, they, yeah, they fought it for half a little half. Its and then health. dive underwater. And the health, you like, yeah, pretty much you were fighting it. Its health dropped to like half, and then oh, to be. To be continue and answer. I hope those damage numbers aren't that big and annoying in the main game. Yeah, it doesn't seem. They that fucking bad. got so many damage numbers and combo, combo, combos everywhere. That oh you yeah, the combo see thing. What you were I don't. At. I still don't understand how you do it. Really. I mean, I assume it's rapidly just, shoot something. Yes, but, but having combo jump out uh, on top of damage numbers seems really bad. Yes, but um. Like I said, the whole flying thing is not just you, you jump and go all the way down. No, you actually fly around the fucking fly, like battle or whatever. You can fly around the fuck you want. Doesn't mm. seem like there's a limit to it. Mm. You're just addressing that because I said flying was dumb. Yes, because you, you mentioned levels. it before. You were like, oh, you just jump and do flying to the place you have to go. No, you actually can fly around. Hey man, it didn't look that way at first. Well, yes, that's why we have All questions. the footage I see, they just fly into the stage and then never use it again. You can use it. What? Yeah, for Anthem. Well, you it, use it if you're anything. wondering, was it worth it? Well, they gave me t- three badass posters, so there's that. Oh yeah, What's the, what, how much swag did you get? I got a fanny pack, <laughs> a backpack. A did little. they give you a Battlefront swag? Cause no uh, one they gave me a dog, pack, a dog tag. Alright, oh, that's cool. And oh, and on Rebel too, I played it there. I, we we played a little bit here. It was fun, yes. and co-op is great. And they gave me a yarn doll. Like I had to build it up, like you know. All right, that works out. So yeah, on Rebel two, that was the only good thing I guess. Well, Rebel two is actually pretty fun. It's totally doable by yourself. But there's one segment in particular we just did yeah. that is way more fun with two people. But uh, the fucking turkey. The Phantom Thieves thing. Oh yeah, the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Uh, in one part, there's this furnace. You one of the, one of the, one of the two has to go like hanging on the rope, and the other one has to come move you around. Yeah, like in <laughs> dodging all the it's fire. Such and all. F- it's such a fun little dumb sequence. It's like, man. oh man, this is great. I need to play the fucking persona music. This is fucking dope. Yeah. Uh, wait, what's, what's the name of the song? The one where they're like um, the the first one ever. Your like, heart will change or something. Yeah, that one. Dun, 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 yeah, the, the one you actually do the, the one they play it when you're about to go to it, like to the. Palace, Palace like the, yeah. yeah. But with actual music, you know, with lyrics. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Paul, EA, EA Play, it's free, though. That's a good part. Uh-huh. You just gotta walk in there. No, not really. You just need okay. to, like, get a, like, a badge and you go to, uh, online. Eh. Okay. But yeah, it's not, it's not E3. It's not E3. You know, the thing that we care about, it's yeah. not really there. Yeah. Pretty much. Free waters, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a oh, highlight. Wow. Or Paul, what's going on there? What? Fuck. Oh, shut up. Is he, watching, like, I'm just, is he, is he diving into Tumblr? Yes, I'm browsing uh, Tumblr as we're talking. <laughs> Can't feel you there. Do, 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 do. Stop uh, jumping into that fucking hole. You're never going to get out. But okay. A great hole to be but in. yeah. EA, you suck. Yeah, there's not a whole lot in EA. I didn't care about EA's. Conference There's much. nothing. No, in, the only good thing at, was on Rebel Two. Yeah, on Rebel Two, and we're playing it right now, and it's good. So there's that. Good if we job. keep buying Unravel Two, eventually EA will get the memo and make more of those again. Yes. Like you know, like, I mean more like indie game sort of things. And remember other when they published Fancy Pants Adventures? And other, oh, they really did. Yeah, I remember. You yeah. know the Flash game, Fancy yes. Pants Gym. They did. They made Fancy Pants Adventures, a console game. Oh. That came with all the Flash games in it as bonus games. Nice. 
It was great. So, on to Microsoft's press conference. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing I'm going to say. Huh? A lot. They show a shit ton, but yeah. my, my, the only thing I'm going to say is all that shit that they showed me that I really want, is I can get on the PS4. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Microsoft. You're not going to get my money. And, like, we talked, well, I think we talked about it in a previous episode, but you mentioned, Anthony, that they don't have enough games, like exclusives. Yeah, so they bought a bunch of people. So, yeah, they bought Ninja oh Theory. Oh, my God. Yeah, they bought Ninja Theory. I'm like, uh, th- that slightly, I'm worried. just slightly hurt, just a little bit. Yeah, I like those guys. They actually make good games. But th- they should have never had done DMC. Though. No, DMC was fine. No, it's a good game. Everyone don't doesn't like that guy. The no, the, I don't give a shit about their Dante. It's fun to play. No, no, they don't like. Bloody we don't Palace like. We don't great. like their main guy. The you know the main guy who they, the boss. Of, you know the guy who develops all those games. The Bloody one, Palace is great. You know he talks shit to the fans non stuff. Yes, he did. Yeah. Cool. That was Nero, right? No. Nero, okay. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. Nero. Okay, well, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. okay. So, what games they showed there? Halo. Nobody cares. I no. I didn't see any Halo. Yeah, yeah. it was Halo. The they showed people Halo. weren't sure it was Halo, and then you saw Master Chief's helmet. Oh, I didn't second. see it. Yeah. At all. So they had that. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, Gears Five. Laura Bailey's there, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, they don't call it Gears of War. They just call it Gears, Gears Five. Yeah. Oh, I just saw it. I just thought they called it Gears. I nah, didn't see the five. Yeah, Gears Five is what uh, they're calling it now. Jeez. Uh, and uh, Gears Tactics and. <laughs> I know that Anthony's worst nightmare t- turning true. Those I wanted, horrible I demons to ask, got their no, own game. No, that was Wooly's nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you and Wooly hate the fucking pump of the With pump. a passion. Yeah, like it, when I saw it, I was like. Hmm, what did... I just forgot it. I don't know why it just rem, just came to back to me. Like, I was like, hmm, what would Anthony say about that? I'd say it sucks. It's not a real game. Is it a shooter? It's almost as stupid as IHOB. Oh, that's real? <laughs> okay, people at it work... It is with, real. People at work was t- telling me about them. Like, are you, you guys are We actually you guys just are saw a commercial. Me. But it's fine. Don't worry. It's only temporary, as it turns out. Oh, okay. They're doing it for marketing, and it's fucking working. Oh, that's why he also made that joke. Apparently, a temp made it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, IHOB. They're oh. now the International House of Burgers. I don't know for how long. Oh, my God. You want to go to IHOB later? Sure. Try out their new menu? Oh. Is IHOB running? Are you? Yes, one? of course there's. Are you eager to try uh, hamburgers from a place that thought pancakes were too hard? This is what the Wendy's said. Are you really serious? The Wendy's Twitter fucking roasted them. Are you really serious? About going to IHOP? Yeah. After I mean, if this. you want to, I don't know. All right, but well, why, yeah, we're, maybe. Wait, why are we changing topic I'm to I'm kind of sick of going to the same. Dude, I don't know. We're, 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 we're very, oh. how, do you, how do you call it, scatterbrained? Yeah, actually, we're, you guys changed the topic completely. We Let's need to work so on this. Back to Microsoft. Yeah, okay. I was, just try, I was just trying to remember with the stuff that they showed. Okay, they showed Cuphead. So yes. that. Everyone's oh, yeah, excited. The DLC. That is cool. I, I guess. fucking like Mughead or Mugman. Stupid, like <laughs> his big teeth, like well, his like, dumb laugh, <laughs> bullshit. It was like ah, that's great. Anything else that they showed? Oh yeah, they showed Miss uh, Chalice. Uh, what? Miss Chalice is yeah. Playable. Yeah. They sh- Okay, if I were gonna say one thing that I was jealous about Xbox, the only thing I'm like, God fucking damn it, it's Battle Toads. Oh yeah, they got new battle toads. Yeah, yeah and uh, so I'm like, finally they're doing something with it. Yeah, we didn't get any footage or get to see anything. Yeah, but we just saw title. Maybe. We're talking about battle toads. So yeah, the only thing that annoyed me was that they didn't show shit. It was it's gonna be two two point five D or something like that. It's pretty much like yeah. But we it, do know that the company making it made cell phone games before. Oh. But Rare is helping. I'll I'll give him. Okay, okay. So Rare you. isn't doing the whole thing. There's a cell phone game company doing the main development, but Rare is helping. He, them. They're gonna polish it a bit. Yeah. But okay. So what else they showed? Uh, Crackdown. Terry Crews. I love Terry. Yeah, Cruz. they've made him an integral character now. But he will. But that is not enough for me to say. Oh, I want an Xbox. I'm sorry. Yeah. What else did they show? That it was um, exclusive. Well, obviously. Oh, okay. Not exclusive. Um, Control. I think is one of the games. No, that was that was Sony. Relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah, let's not jump there. All right. Uh, um, but, okay, but if I were gonna say the thing that got me excited, okay, obviously they showed Kingdom Hearts. Actually, you gotta say right. Oh now. yeah, they sh- Kingdom Hearts is now available on Xbox. I'm like, no, no, Frozen no. no I knew that. I knew that. But here's the thing: in like two or three, no, three conferences, they showed different trailers. Yeah. 
Which is yeah. kind of weird. They fucking spread out Kingdom Hearts a lot. Which is... Eight. But you know what the funny part was? A lot of people, especially like the hardcore fans, when they saw Aqua being being Sand Evil. And there and everyone's like there's like memes on, on Twitter where you show this homeless guy shouting at some random thing, I'm gonna get you out <laughs> Like you know like mm-hmm. the fans wanna save her so badly. I'll I have no you. idea what's happening with it, but she became evil. Oh well, I haven't played the game. No, you like, can now. Game. You can get 2.5, and it has her game in it, which a lot of people argue is probably the best but, one in the series, but also required. Yes. Okay. It's required reading, but also the best one, so yeah. I don't know. Yes. But, okay, uh, they also showed the game that... I, okay, this is my number one game for E3. Mm-hmm. They will make Cray. Yeah, uh, five. Finally bringing back how it's supposed to be. No fucking, oh, I'm, d- like, I'm done, Tana. Stupid. Don't worry, they didn't forget Nero had a demon arm. It just got ripped off by Virgil. <laughs> okay, so yeah. that was Nero. Yeah, yeah that's Nero. Because a lot of people I was like, wondering, where the fuck is his demon arm? Why is he a robot now? A lot of people were like, what, like Metal Gear. <laughs> I was thinking that. I've actually. seen a lot where, like, <laughs> punished <laughs> Nero. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, he fucking rides his own fucking rocket punch arm. Yeah, exactly. So punch he does arm. this. Okay, so pretty much it's Nero with all his fighting style, like, always his stupid slam. No, okay, it's not stupid. It has his slam dunk and all that. Uh-huh. And actually, he does more punching. And now his hand turns into an electric radar thing or something. Yeah, and he, I, I guess he inherited the Devil May Cry sign on his, for his band. Yes. I think Dante gave it to him. Maybe he works Global with him. Dante. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll talk, yeah, old man Dante. Please stop praying for my grandpa, he's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> he's broken out of the hospital. Please. Actually, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of, a lot of main characters from, like, older games, like, from the, the previous generation, like PS2 games are turning old. It's true because it, we're old. But it's cool though. Yeah. Hobo Dante looks great. I want to see Hobo Trish and Hobo Lady. I doubt it. Okay, fine. They're probably just gonna be classy old milfs. Maybe. I'd imagine. But uh, a lot of people didn't know that was Nero at first. I, I no, was, a lot of people weren't I, sure. I was, wasn't even sure, I but I heard Johnny sure. when I saw him chart doing the little engines with his with his or I was like, that's Nero. And I recognize his voice as Johnny Young Ball. Yeah. Until I saw his arm, I was like, wait, who has that arm? I'm like, Nero. Yeah. Hmm. But so, I, was, I, was I guess this is what a lot of people wanted for Devil May Cry 5 to have all, all like, Virgil, Nero, and Dante playable. Yeah. So, yeah. Nero we're, growing. People. We're back to uh, where we're supposed to be. Exactly. Devil May Cry is back. Oh, I thought you were going to say we're not talking about pancakes anymore. No, yeah, no more pancakes. I hop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> But yeah, was there anything else in there? Oh yeah, they showed Battlefield, but who cares? Yeah, who cares? Um, oh yeah. Pretty- next up, EA. Y- yeah, we just did. Yeah, we okay, did fine. You're so no, EA. we're Shit. up to Ubisoft. Okay, then Ubisoft. Uh, I, I heard. I it. saw that people fucked up in the press. Like, try to. The audio got <sighs> fucked up. Oh boy. Okay, so. I didn't. Ubis- see, I didn't see it. I just saw the trailers and all that. Because. Ubisoft one. They um. They were about to. What was that game called? Is this Just is this, Dance? Uh, no, uh, Rage. Yeah. No, 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 that was Bethesda. That's Bethesda. Okay, you know what? Let's That's go to Bethesda, Bethesda first. Okay, Bethesda. There okay, first they started uh, with Rage, and they had... I forgot the name of the band, the, but... The, the guy's name is, um... His E-W? name is... Yeah. Andrew WK. Andrew, Andrew WK, yeah, yeah. the fucking... Destroy, build, destroy guy. Whoa! But I actually like that song. I, they actually played on Helsinki. Uh, I, I really wanted them to stop that song. Why? Well, yeah, because, because even the audience did. Yeah. They were you. you they, they cut to the audience's reactions. Oh, and the guys were like. And my teacher was in front. My really? teacher was there. Yeah, I saw. What? I saw you, Thomas. I, and then at the end, I saw you kissing your wife too, Thomas. Okay. It was over. I'm gonna say they should have used the band. As they showed the game. Yeah, like a lot of people were saying, like a live orchestra. Like for example, I I was okay, like just like they did like in Sony last time, like last time. But I was I, I didn't care just because I liked this song already. Like I said, they I actually ha- have it on like my on YouTube like playlist and all that. Uh huh. So yeah, I was happy for it, but like at the same time, I was like, ah, uh, they should have put gameplay there. Then that would have been awesome. Like, yeah, yeah. While but, it was playing. But Rage looks fun, but I don't care for it that much. It's just not. Post- okay, actually, but that's those foolish shooters. I, don't I know. like Rage One. It was, was a good game. Nobody played. I know, but maybe it's good because it, like the kills and all that. And this one looked great. You get a thing called a wing stick, and it's just a boomerang. The one, oh it's wait, is that great. is that in the first game too? Yeah, man. It's the one that you throw at people and they go, oh, it gets them flying and blow. Uh, up. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the first game, it would cut them in half. Festus press conference. I was kind of falling asleep until we got to seventy six. Okay, Ooh. so we'll talk. Okay, uh, then they showed. 
a little teaser for Doom. I'm excited oh, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because now you're in, in Earth, hell on Earth, and they really better show the fucking bunny. Mm. I want to see the bunny get, like, the executed bunny. And you go, like, wait, you didn't know that the Doom guy, his whole motivation to destroy all demons on Earth is because they kill his bunny? I thought because, you know, demons are leashed from hell and he's uh, got to stop yeah, them. Yes, but that's like, that's like second priority. They killed they his killed bunny. bunny. Now he's angry, and he'll punch more demons in the fucking balls in the face. No. Yeah, yes. Exactly. They murdered. You didn't know that? Rabbit. No, this I thought I thought that was the plot for the first one. Like, no, I thought the plot was the whole thing about like getting rid of these demons. Yeah. Well, yeah, but they kill his bunny. That's that's like more motivation than stopping them. All right. Exactly. I want the bunny. I remember the bunny. John Carmack was the man who said. Oh, story in video games. That's like story in porn. Oh, so he just made that as like a stupid joke. To be like, <laughs> now I'm gonna make the game. He really said that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. He he didn't think very highly of video game stories for a while. He didn't think they were necessary. All right. In his games, so like what and other? Wait. Really have any. Oh yeah, they showed more expansions for uh, the sci-fi horror game. I forgot the one with the mimics. Um. Prey. Prey. Look interesting, but nah, it's just an expansion, right? Like, you'll see. <laughs> I might yeah. try it eventually. We'll see. But seventy-six. Yes. Yes. That game Paul. looks fun, but Paul, I'm sorry if you don't get the PS Plus, you will not experience it fully. I mean, it's it's solo. You can go solo. I hope their shooting is good now. No, really? Is it? Is, yeah, say, is yeah, it always have, online? Yeah, it has to be always online. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. But they, said, but they said they have to have. But they said they're having dedicated servers. Yeah. Mm, I'm, okay, I'm skeptical about yeah, that. Yeah, but uh, you didn't see anything of it, Anthony? I did. Looks the shooting looks fine now, unlike, you know, the normal shooting. I like games. the idea that you can go around with your buddies and build bases and just chill there. I don't like the nuke. That's I like the nuke, though. That's, I like the idea, because I'm like, nice. hmm. All your hard How? work is gone now. Well, your hard work is always going to be gone. It's because some 12 year old thought it'd be funny. To well, to be fair, you, you, need to, <laughs> hey, you need to gather. I'm not 12. Hey, you, uh. you, need, you need to gather an entire team of 12 year olds if you want to do that <laughs> shit. They did at least mention that in order to get to the nuke, it's actually in a high level area. High yeah. level area, you need a team and you need all of you to have fucking, like, like gather the code. Ooh. So it takes. It's not like you can just. It's a Herculean effort. Yeah, it's not like you can go like scroll straight like, to your neighbor's house and be like, "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah, like uh -huh. it's like just imagine you're playing it online and this asshole from the other base they're like, "Ah, eh, fuck you," and they just attack you like, mm, just walk towards like the hill. Oh, <laughs> nuclear missile here. Press button. Fuck you. No, you can't do that. Now here's my other question: Can you use a nuclear weapon more than once? Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't. Each, there, there's a lot of nuclear sites apparently, so. Alright. There's that. Ooh. You'd think they'd learn from, you know, literally living in the apocalypse caused by nuclear war. Well, to be fair, those were before the nuclear sure, war. That was before, yeah. No, you'd think they'd learn not to use them again. <laughs> Fuck you! They should just leave them and alone. You, and use them in the same area that you are in. Like, yes. What the fuck's radiation, right, guys? Double radiation, now. Alright. Also, Elder Scrolls Six. Woohoo! We didn't Ooh see shit. We didn't we see shit. We just got a landscape. I know we didn't, but I'm so happy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think confirm oh, it, so... I love uh, Todd Howard's joke. He knows. Oh, he knows. Yeah. yeah, that was great. <laughs> put Skyrim on Alexa. Yeah, Alexa. yeah, yeah here's Skyrim. the ironic thing. It's actually true. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? He, put it, he put it on Alexa and it functions and it works. What? Then I can play it right? Like, I can go yeah, to my house? Yeah, you can play it on your Alexa. Are you <laughs> okay, then I'll play it too, like, today once I get home. Yeah, yeah, because some people checked it out. It's there on the store and it's functional. Wait, is it also on your uh, refrigerator too? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but it's on Alexa. So yeah, Anthony, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about Skyrim being released again. Okay. You're happy or now? Or do I? No, it's on Alexa. <laughs> PlayStation go. 5. We're going to launch with Skyrim 2. <laughs> 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 Fucking that's what I was hoping for. They were going to be cowards and call it Skyrim 2. <laughs> yes. Instead of Elder Scrolls 6. But Which yeah, actually, you know, th excited. they showed the mobile game that looks fun, but... Yeah. Actually, I uh, thought he was joking about the mobile game, because I'm like, alright, this, is, this, some is, this people, is japing me. A lot of people say that it, they don't mind it because... I don't know. It really didn't look real. I was like, okay, this is gonna this is gonna sequence to Elder Scrolls Six, right? And I'm like, oh, wait, no, well, don't worry. This. They announced. Yeah, I know. He, I know. I know he did. You just reminded I, me. I didn't think it was what? real. Of EA's cell phone game that got everyone mad. Oh, 
Command and Conquer. Yeah, it was there. I didn't play it. Yeah. Like, Command and Conquer is a cell phone game now. Okay, you never played Command and Conquer? No. It's a fun... It's a fun... Uh, Respect the classics. RTS. No, it's, uh, that's why. Not into RTS. Yeah, probably. But still, it's a fun one and fucking... They turn into a I mobile hope, game. I hope you feel the same way when your favorite game turns into a cell phone RTS. Yeah, fuck you. Hell no, it won't. Wait, what game is it? I don't mm. know. Clash yeah. of Smash Brothers. I mean, yeah, Clash of Smash Bros. And you're gonna ha- you summon an army of links charging towards like the enemy. And castle. it's gonna be five dollars to unlock Mario. And, and you have no idea. And how you have much to get crystals. You're gonna get. You and have to get crystals. So much you, need, you need four, five thousand crystals to get the Mar- the Mario Odyssey. You're too castle. tired. Sakurai, to Sakurai is gonna get so many death threats. It's ridiculous. It's Paul, you're too tired to block. Shut you need up. to buy more crystals or wait five minutes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh uh, yeah, stupid block. Like getting, you're tired of, in game. In, in uh, fucking or Hogwarts eight. Academy. Yeah. With, with getting choked by uh, what's his name, um, Voldemort. You get choked <laughs> for five minutes, or you pay money. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, that's what that's that's what everyone that's, uses that's that insidious thing. Because like you, you, like, you had to use energy <laughs> to break free, but and then there's like you got caught by Voldemort, and this is a tutorial level. And it's like, oh, there's, you don't have enough energy to break free. Wait so five go. minutes or pay money for more And energy. while you're waiting, he's he says to you, you like that, yeah, don't so you, you bitch. So you watch a kid get strangled by Voldemort for five minutes <laughs> or pay money. Wait. Leviosa. Wait, wait, are you telling me that Voldemort, the most powerful evil wizard, is choking a kid and he cannot kill him in five minutes? It's true. No. Lame. This is why Harry Potter sucks in general. Ooh. Oh, okay. I don't dislike everything Harry Potter, but I think it's very. Yeah. I like Harry Potter. Weak. We've digressed again. I think it's very weak. Which conference do you want to go to next? Okay. Uh, um, we're at. We, we did. With you, the Beth. Oh, uh, you want to actually do Ubisoft, Ubisoft now? Ubisoft yeah. now, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say it first. Uh, Skull and. Oh, Skull, Skull and Bones. Yeah, Skull and Bones. Looks fun. I actually kind of want to get it. But you know what it is, right? We all Better know what it is. Sea of Thieves. It's, no, no. It's just. Black flag, but its own IP. Right. <laughs> but the only thing is, you're only controlling the ship, and I'm like, well. Wait, I'm, you can't go in like. No, you can't. That's the whole thing. You can't control anyone. You can only control the ship, and I'm like, well, that's useless. To Naval me. combat. Yeah. The yeah. game. We'll see. We'll see if they show more stuff. A lot. <laughs> Maybe they'll change it. Maybe they'll show more stuff. We'll see. I Maybe there'll be some some basic Assassin's Creed combat there. We'll see. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that'll be fun if you can just wait. But how can you do boardings if you can't put? I don't. Know. We'll see. We'll see. But like I said, pretty much, Ubisoft was like, "Oh man, we can't be doing Black Flag two and three and four because people love our na- naval combat." So, you know, let's just make a new game. Hmm? Prince of Persia. Because we Black know. Black Flag. Because <laughs> we know Ubisoft doesn't want to do anything that is not, you know. Prince of Persia. You know, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Assassin's well, Creed. This motherfucker just Prince keeps saying Persia. Prince of Persia. I know. That is. I know that. I know that Ubisoft like was. Prince oh, of Persia you're made ma- on the UbiArt engine. Like, oh, you're UB making. Platformer. Oh my gosh! Shut the fuck up, Anthony. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, we do two D two D side scroller games for Prince of Persia. Oh no! How about we just make them Assassin's Creed games? Oh. Ooh. That's what happened, Paul. I don't know if you heard that. I know. I saw. Yeah. I saw Matt's. Um, Palace of Which Persia. is also good because those games sucked. Mm, maybe. Well, nobody liked them. The 2D because it was Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed that's why. Like it. It, it was just playing because it was Assassin's. Creed. I thought it's just because they were bad games. Hmm. Like they're just not fun to play games. Okay, no. what other things they announced then? Uh, oh yeah, yourself. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Actually, no. I kind of want to play just because it's ancient Greece and I really like ancient Greece. Ah, uh, Rome, Greece, same thing. No, they're not. No, no, no. Yeah, like five hundred years apart. I can't yeah. tell the difference though. I don't know. What it uh, is. Oh my god! Just imagine it's three hundred. That's Greece. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Then what's Rome? Uh, it's Gladiator. They're the same thing. No, oh. what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, man. You I ignorant bastard! It confirmed. There's not a whole lot Anthony different. Is confirmed to be an they're ignorant. They're dressed pleb. the same. Their art's the same. Well, because the Romans were like, oh, look at this. Nice Greece, Greek stuff. How about we just change Did your names? Did they have different gods? How about I'm just okay, Paul? You see, I'm trying the to Roman freaking, and Greek gods. I'm different. trying to explain to you, and you, you are, and I just me. asked you a question. I was up, I was about to tell you, like, oh, look at all this Greek stuff. 
Let's just change the name of all their gods and make it our own. Now. Nah. Didn't, didn't they share the same gods? Yes, they just then changed Then why the, name. the fuck are you yeah. blaming me for thinking they're the I was about different. to explain it to you. They fucking took the Greek gods and changed their names. So then what they basically did is that they're just the Greeks again, but they decided to change their name. So yes. the Greeks and Romans are the same thing. No. They just went a name change. They just took stuff from other people. Uh, That's all they did. All right. Pretty much. Yeah, but... uh. Ugh. Greeks are dumb. Was there anything else that they showed in that Ubisoft? No, nah, I didn't show shit. Honestly, if you can't remember it now, don't really rattle your brain for it. Let's just move on. We gotta All keep right. the pace going. All right, Sony. Square Enix. Oh, oh Square Enix? Because yeah. I heard it was a dumpster fire. 30 minutes of just showing uh, just trailers. All right. I was, I was pretty happy with the Platinum Kingdom Hearts. Ga- yeah. Hold on. Okay, go. go oh, no. I was pretty happy with the Kingdom Hearts trailer because I wasn't expecting a uh, friggin'. Ratatouille. I was like, oh, Ratatouille. Oh, yes. There's a lot of summons. Yeah, I didn't yeah. expect that. And um, and when they showed Sora in um, Pirates of the Caribbean, I was like, oh, it, was it like, looks like a totally different game. It does. I was well, like, to be fair, geez. it always it, it did always, that too in the PS2 one. Yeah, that's, yeah, but it always it was looked, pretty jarring. Though. Yeah, it looked out of so out of place. Now it fits a bit better. Yeah. Slightly, but still, it's kind of jarring. I know. I. I I can't wait to hear Johnny Depp say hello, Donald. I don't think it's gonna. It's not him. (laughs) It's not him. It's a sound alike. A a good sound alike. Besides the the size of the one in the PS2. Fuck, I'd just love to hear Captain Jack Sparrow talk to Donald Goofy. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's it's so fucking strange. cartoon characters in <laughs> so anime like, child. I'm like, what's so the spoiler, I guess, Frozen is confirmed, like, as we all knew. Oh, yeah, it's I true. saw in the trailer. I mean, you think Japan was gonna skip on the, on the freaking movie that for, like, more than 40 weeks was number one in theaters? No. Nope. And Ooh. that it, it was still in theaters when it came on DVD and Blu-ray. No. I still haven't watched it. Me neither. It's not a bad movie. I still haven't seen Tangle. It's just overrated. It's not a I bad heard movie, Tangled but it's not good. good. Tangle is yeah. Tangled. The Tangled better movie good. is in there. Tangle. I haven't watched it, but people say but they yeah. Didn't, they the didn't movie show. Deserves it. <gasps> you know what? No, gonna... wait. I did actually watch Tangle. Actually, I just forgot one thing. Sa- uh, no, not Sakura. No, Mura was um, with a Stark Industries shirt. So, oh, I thought he was gonna apologize for being a, like a. Shit. So uh, maybe he's being a, a douche, a troll, but maybe he could put Marvel. Um, I'm not sure if it was Ubisoft. No, no, it was Ubisoft uh, because uh, they were showing that one uh, pilot game, and then Star Fox showed up. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. but we can put it in Nintendo for that, right? Uh, wh- which conference showed my name is Pedro or my friend Pedro? They didn't show it anywhere. What? Oh, okay. This game called My Friend Pedro. Yeah. And we'll talk about we can, talk, we can yeah. talk about those games like you fucking skateboard the, and shoot people with a after the conferences I guess alright we can great. talk about it okay yeah. um fuck you fuck okay yeah uh Square Square Enix yeah Stark Industries Nomura got a short of it yeah. alright so maybe he's just teasing or being a douche well, now nice. let's go to Devolver Digital no what yeah exactly <laughs> now let's go to Sony no I'm gonna say that <laughs> Platinum announced uh uh Game. Oh yeah, kill the kill. No. Game. <sighs> what? Oh fuck, never Yes. Mind. Yeah, Shit. that's part of yeah. Oh, they just announced it like two Different they did. company, same game, whatever. Arx oh, Arxis <laughs> confer- said, oh, you know, Arx is the ones who did Fighter C, Blaze Blue, and Guilty Gear and all yeah. that. They're like, oh, we're doing Guilty Gear game. I mean, kill the kill, kill, kill. Oh, is that what they're talking fuck, about? Fuck, we're all getting mixed up. Yes. Oh. See, so, Paul already knew. It's not a surprise. No, okay. it, it was but a surprise. But this has nothing to do with. Now, what if Platinum made a kill the kill game? No, Platinum is doing a, a new game uh, or something like a RP- weird RPG that they haven't. Sh- oh, they only show a trailer. Wait, is it the little Witch Academia one? I no, hope they hire actual environmental IP. artists. It's a brand new IP. Mm. It's called fuck. God, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's. Uh, I hope they hire environmental. Babylon's artists. Fall or something like that. Babylon's Fall. I'm just gonna say it again. I hope they. Yes, I heard hire you. Hire environmental <laughs> artists you so that they don't have bland, boring, and uninteresting level design. Yes, you bitch about a lot of it. It's the fucking worst. Yes, you bitch a lot about it. But yeah, okay. It was just 30 minutes. They show a few games, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, Final Fantasy 14 stuff that nobody cares. Alright. But okay, uh, Sony. They did something different. They went to a church first. Okay, that's weird. And That is definitely different. And they, uh-huh. ch- and they had this guy playing the banjo. Okay. And then... 
after the banjo, you start Bicyclist. seeing people from The Last of Us dancing in a church. Boo. And you see, uh, Eli? Eli, sorry. Ellie. Ellie, yeah. El- Ellie, pretty Ellie. much dancing. And she gives a big sloppy kiss and goes, boom, 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 boom. And then that kiss transports. It shows your boy. It shows your boy. Your boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then that kid. Can we cut to that scene actually in Last of Us Two where Ellie's like, "Show your butt, spread your butt." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then they show gameplay, which everyone was like, "Fuck yeah!" Oh jeez. So, it, so that, yeah, the game looks great. Like it looks so full and almost feels like like cinema. Like it doesn't feel like a game. It feels like a trailer, but it's true. I'm it looks sure totally it's fake. Gonna, uh, I'm pretty sure that, like, I seen The Last of Us, the first one, and it, it kind of feels like that. Hey, remember the first Last of Us where if you totally shoot a gun that's empty and they'll be like, I recognize that noise! And then Ellie throws a brick at them, that was a fucking lie. <laughs> oh. Uh, that yeah. doesn't happen. You're not gonna totally, you're not gonna get that cinematic stabbing someone in the throat and then taking their axe and axing their face and shit. How do you know? Or have a Maybe. dude's face warp, like, repeatedly while, like, just shooting at it like no that's dumb we'll see someone's not gonna peek under the car and then like <gasps> and then shoot them in the face why do you think they're just, they're just gonna be like in other games just see it's, gonna, it's AI them? yes hey they, they, they program AI for a reason it's called programming man you know it's called trailer this, AI this is why you AI know. that only exists in trailers we'll see you're being lied to whatever I played The Last of Us 1 it's probably just gonna be more of that it looks, but it was good though. Yes, it's true. So then, why are you bitching about? It? I'm just saying, don't don't think everything that happened in the trailer is actually. Oh, I know be because the, the, the graphics might have not looked as good as there. Nah, I'm pretty sure they'll look about that. All I'm right. just saying the animations and the and complicated the... bullshit they were up to. <laughs> we'll see. And the butt showing. Yeah. Wait, there was butt showing? <laughs> yeah, you know, there was a butt, and then Ellie yeah. was like. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Man. Okay, then they moved to a different building. I think that was like the main one mm-hmm. where they had. Okay, this is this caused controversy, and everyone, everyone, everyone else. Normal we already people, talked about the kiss. No. <laughs> All yeah, right. that also caused. Controversy. We're talking about Ghost of. Tsushima. Ghost of Sushi. Tsushima. Yes. Oh yeah, that game that looks game looks great. But you know, be, before they showed the gameplay, they had this this uh, white guy playing uh, with this Japanese flute that. Apparently, just so you know, he's one of the few people in the world who's considered a master of it. So it's like an ancient instrument that nobody plays it, right? Mm-hmm. And he's one of the few people who is talented enough to be like, pretty much, he's a master. Yeah, he's officially even ever all the Japanese were like, yeah, to that guy. Yeah. But guess what happened here? I know. Cultural revelation. I figured that was gonna happen as soon as I saw it. I'm like, oh, oh shit. all the SJWs, yep. all the losing their shit, and even some Japanese guys on Twitter, are like, hey guys, it's okay. He he has the right to do he that. He fucking did it. You he see did the he's impossible. Playing. Yeah, the Japanese told him, guys, relax, relax. Like that, and guess what happened to them? They all uh, apparently they all got blocked by the SJWs on Twitter. Oh, I thought they all got bullied off of Twitter. No, they got blocked because they couldn't handle the being wrong. I want to stay in my echo chamber, re. Yeah, it's pretty much. So yeah, stop bitching about everything. But yes. the game looks great. I want to actually play it. That mm-hmm. first, that it, first slash. Yeah, it's like it's pretty much. You don't if you don't know what the story's about. It's. Uh, one, uh, an island, Shima. an island in Japan, like uh, getting invaded by Mongols. When, mm-hmm. when uh, they were talking, when they were saying um, the Mongols are attacking in the game, I was thinking of South Park. God, God damn, Mongols. shut up! <laughs> I was thinking of Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck. Get out of here, you Mongolians! <laughs> I was, I was saying that when, when I was watching it, my brother was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And I tell him, "Dude." South Park reference. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, okay." Um. Then, uh, what other game they showed? Oh, uh, Spider-Man 4. Uh, PS4, I mean, PS4, yes. Spider-Man. Yeah. Actually, you know that... It looked great. Yes. Yeah. It, it ha- it's like a cooler version of Arkham, with all, like, all this extra stuff. Yeah, and swinging. Yep. And, uh, the villains look great. Mm-hmm. I like that. Got like to see it. most of them. And they are recreating... I guess the, the thing they showed on the presentation was... They took that from a complete... God damn it, why... Good job. They- Oh, what the fuck? Someone... Get the fuck out of here, Matt. Matt. Okay. Matt McMuscles? You're friends with him now? Yes. All right. That Matt. I'm friends with him. Nice. You're such good friends, you can ignore him. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, they stole that story, like the whole storyline from that game from an Avengers story. What about Blah Blah Shadows Die Twice? Dark Souls with Samurai, mechanical Senate arm. Hook, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that looks great. All right. So uh, what other games did they show? They they um. They showed the Nintendo conference. No, 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 no. Okay. There's something else. There's something else they showed. I'm just trying to remember. If you can't remember, it's not worth remembering. Oh, control. Oh, it is. Huh? Yes, control. It looks weird. It's like, it's like, what is it? It's like, it feels like Inception. I don't know, but if you can't remember, it's not worth remembering. Let's right. go to Nintendo now. All right. Fine, then I'll probably remember it during Nintendo. We're not going to have a bunch of dead space, all right? We're not oh, Death Stranding! Fuck you. Oh, yeah, fuck. So what do you think of that? I didn't watch it. It was adorable baby giving you the There's thumbs nothing up. to watch. Oh, yeah. Yes, there was gameplay. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, you carry a guy. It seems like it's so, a walking simulator. Someone on, someone on Tumblr said, um, this just reminds me of the uh, Krusty Krab pizza. <laughs> it's the pizza scene. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, as I was saying, uh, it's like a, almost like a stealth walking simulator. Perfect. I still don't understand and it, the story. I mean, either. I, don't, I guess there's these monsters that are invisible. And also Kojima, because, you know, he's a monster. He decided, hey, guys, you see the main character? You want to cosplay as him? On Twitter, he put all, like, they, he put all, like, all the, like different poses of, the, of him. Like, okay, yeah, here's all this stuff. Cosplay as him. And mm -hmm. he's carrying so much shit. I don't know if you saw in the trailer, but he's mm -hmm. carrying... Backpacks, boots, machine guns, like shit ton of pouches and everything. I'm like, you gotta make people carry all that shit. Oh, and that little thing that detects the <laughs> invisible monsters. Nah, it's totally doable. You can do it. Yes, you can. You can do it, but. God damn it. Well, it... I mean, okay, in game, all that stuff is probably heavy, but you can do that shit with like cardboard and paper mache. Like, no, I, I, I want. Or they so... keep doing the molding clay or something? I want someone to carry the corpse. Foam. foam, yeah, there you go. I want someone to have the corpse, like carrying it around. Oh, yeah, the Perfect. corpse thing. I'm like, mm. And I Hello, guess, it's me, Norman Reedus. And I guess they have an in-story <laughs> reason why you can, re like, revive. Yes, yeah, baby inside Little of you. baby who gives you a thumbs up, like, eek. Oh, my God. You know a cosplayer's going to go the extra mile and put, like, a baby in their mouth? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be there. They're like, ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's going to have up. the thumb up and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it was a weird conference, but I liked it. hardest not to choke on this. <laughs> so, yeah, Nintendo... <laughs> The one that people say that won, and I'm telling them not, not really. No one uh, won. It, well, yeah, this no one won. This. No one won this either. Okay, Paul, I think... Okay, oh, man, this is going to be a... First, we, they started with a game that's like a mech game that plays... I was interested. Yeah, it was sort of interesting, but a... everyone ignored it, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. I didn't ignore it. Yeah, like, me neither. But trust me, nobody remembers anything about Nintendo, even Fire Emblem. And yeah, They forgot about everything. I didn't forget about else. Fire Emblem. Why you, I didn't oh, care about so. Fire Emblem. Uh... <laughs> I Smash did, sort of, but you know what? The art style looks so generic. Did you forget we were here? It looked like something you did naturally, <laughs> and then you forgot. It was. Then... It, was. <laughs> it was. I was he, just he itchy. Took, he took oh, off his God. shirt and just started scratching himself. Yeah, but he did like with both arms like this, <laughs> and then forget, like... I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? He like realized, like, oh, that's right, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> like, in the middle of it. I was like, excuse me, what the fuck are you doing? It wasn't intentional, I swear. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, that's fine. This is a subconscious but, okay. thing. But yeah, that mech game, Fire Emblem, I like the idea that now the battles look like actual big battles because, you know, each unit has its own armies. You can see in the background people fighting uh -huh. and all that. That's fine, but I don't like the art style that much. It looks too anime-ish. Oh, I didn't even see what the art style was. Mm. It, it was too plain, in my opinion. They yeah. should have just kept the the guy from the from Fates and Awakening. If that guy managed to make designs where people wanted to uh, support some of the freaking random they like design runs, alone. design wise, yeah, well, yeah, they don't. Have, okay, you're okay. You know, like some of the just like how the one I picked was design alone. What, what are you talking about? The thief girl. Oh. Girl. I already forget her name. Ah, then she wasn't worth Is it. Is it Karen? No. I see a redhead and I think Karen. Anna? Anna, like the oh, merchant? I think it was Anna. Yeah. Yeah, the one that said. Fuck, that I keep thinking she's a thief. She's a merchant. Yeah, she's a merchant. Well, she can't. She be has a th thief style. Yeah. She's got a thief thing going well, maybe on. Maybe she robs stuff, you never know. Well, she, probably. Oh, she, well, she cares about Well, she's just, she's just the thief stance. Yeah. But yeah, I was saying, that game looks good, but the art style, is, I'm like. And like I said, the previous. No, let's talk about Smash Brothers, everybody. No, 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 no. no. I, okay, we're fine. not done yet. Mario Party. Yeah. 
and more like Mario Farty. Am I right? It's funny how people are all happy about it, but then forget about it because of you know, eight. you know what? Oh, okay. Smash. Oh, I thought it was, I was gonna be eight. I was hoping they show a new Wario Land game. Okay, you know Paul. Smash you know Sma that is a new game, right? You do know that, right? So you it's, it's a it's a combination of so what? Oh, yeah, okay. that's what we're trying to figure do out. Do you owe us our twenty bucks now or not? Nah, this is the confusing part because, um, it look it, obviously they added so much stuff that it's his own game now. They because Sakurai but, said it's a new game. It's a new. But oh, then they recycle. Yeah, everything. they recycled the stuff from the original. So from, technically, then, it is a new game, and you owe us twenty bucks. To but technically, I don't because it's. A what if we fork? break it even and call it ten dollars? <laughs> Fine. We each owe each oh. other ten dollars, no, so no one have... gets anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Now nah, you don't want anything now because it's fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I don't. Okay, so here's the thing. I guess because we uh we play the fucking modern version so much, having all the characters like that, it doesn't it's... feel anything. Yes, I mean you we mean played you made Project Goku. M. Yeah, we played you Project, you made Project M and yeah. a shit ton of other versions where you can have Spider Man and yeah. whatever. Like, well, really, it's Michael there. Jackson. Yeah, there's Michael sakes. Jackson or yeah. And this one, I'm, I was like, it's just the same. Okay, sure, you have I was classic like, stages. Yeah, fine. You have oh, like every stage has an Omega form and a whatever. And they other also form. brought some from the 3DS version as well. Oh, what about Kid Link? That's actually Young, new, isn't he? You mean Young Link? Yeah. No, he's not. He's from Melee. Yeah. Oh. Well. And okay. That's I'm, the first okay, time I've seen him. Oh, yeah. Question. Were you yeah, happy that they Daisy was there? My girl was in the game! I, that's what I said when I saw her. I was like, yes! Okay, so. Yeah. But you know I'm, who I'm isn't in the game? Waluigi. Sora. Waluigi. No, Sora's never going to be in that he's game. He's going to be in the next one. You Don't, don't ever say never. Sakurai hey, said it's probably the last one. But that's he's, what he said He said that for Brawl. Yes. But yeah, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that because we are so used to Smash and like so like <laughs> like crazy versions oh of it, God, this so is many. nothing special anymore. So I saw this photo that I thought was really great, uh, and it was one of the Grim Reaper, and the Grim Reaper is labeled Super Smash Brothers Melee, and uh, he just got done murdering all the other ones, <laughs> and then it's knocking on the door of Super Smash Ultimate. <laughs> 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 it's like I'm coming for you. Okay. You know what's gonna happen. They're just gonna go back to melee. Well, pretty much the melee. Of course, the melee fags are. Yeah, they were gonna go there with uh, their stupid mango nation. Now, granted, Fox they didn't. McCloud. They didn't show that much or talked about that much of uh, ultimate, but uh, yo, what are you talking about? They talk a shit. I know, ton. but did they say anything about um. Story you guys mode? Yeah, story mode. You know I don't. I, mean? I don't think they mention it. Yeah, they didn't because mention it. Because if they at all. do add a story mode, subspace th innocent. That would make it so much. An actual yeah, can they actually mode? have a good arc like an arcade mode this time? Because I dropped Wii U like a sack of bricks because it didn't actually have an arcade mode. It has to have an arcade mode. It has to have a story mode and a few extra cool shit that I we... would love it if they bring back subspace emissary. Yes, that's because you have all the characters. Yeah, there. you have all of them. And come on, Sakurai. Of course, they're gonna put all the videos online. Don't be a bitch. And I do like the sma some of the final smashes are much easier now. Yeah. And less stupid. You don't have to. Control. Like Super Sonic, that's not have to go crazy. Some of them. Like mm. Super Sonic just goes like super fast uh, all over the screen. They changed yeah. how blocking is. Yeah, it's a few things. I mean, it's a better version of the like the previous one with more characters and all that. But I'm still like. Eh. Will they give Little Mac a better uppercut? But uh, I, I guess people were excited that Ripley is there and he murdered Mario. A lot of people were excited. He murdered even, everybody. Even I was excited for, like, um, no, not that much for Ridley, but uh, Snake coming back. Oh, yeah. I was, that like, was cool. oh, shit. Oh, I saw another image that was fucking great. And what? it's making fun of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, where, you know, you remember how Marvel was like. Our characters aren't allowed to die in promotional material. Like and they're not allowed to lose blah blah blah. And then they have Mario Mega Man and dying. And, and then Mario <laughs> getting stabbed. I'm like, oh shit! Oh, fuck. This is the darkest. Game. You know what? If that's part of the story mode, I want Mario to co like, just like in Mortal Kombat. You know, and you know, who can die super like horribly. You know, who else dies super sudden? horribly? Like uh, technically, the most horribly out of all of them. What? Samus. Why? She, she gets slammed into her ship and then blown up. That's just a final That's smash. Trash. Doesn't count. That's not part of it. Oh, that, that wasn't, yeah. that was, no, that wasn't no. her just dying? You, no, you even saw her coming out of her armor doing yeah. a rider kick, so fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you just 
You just nitpicked those little tiny parts so you could. I thought that was part of the death trailer. No. Of everyone dying. No, so, that, that was just gameplay of it. I'm guessing that for uh, someone did a post before this, before they showed the game and everything. Before E3, actually. They did a post about um, the predictions and stuff. They were right about Ridley. But they they were right about Bomberman, but not being a playable character though. Oh but they, yeah. But they were also wrong about um, Simon Belmont being playable. But they were right. A Konami character was coming back, so it's like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. So they might put a maybe later. We'll see. I don't know. He said uh, Sakura says they don't expect that many characters, like new ones, mm -hmm. which is fine, I guess. Because it's fine. Because just getting all the old ones back. Okay, yeah. so how many would you accept they put, like you know, three more, two more. And no Fire Emblem character. I, I just want Wonder Woman. Nah, they're gonna get one from the Three Kingdoms or whatever it's called. Maybe. We'll they're see. gonna get one from the brand new Fire Emblem game. You know what? I just want Springman and fucking Wonder Red. Then give me that. Just Wonder put in Red Sora. Just put in Sora because he was. Oh, he he's been in all of the press conferences, man. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we Except can talk about. Now we can take the U <laughs> We can steal the Ubisoft part and uh, Star Fox is playable in this. New oh yeah, and this new Ray ship Man. game, and it it's okay. So I understand um, what they're going coming from because like their whole gimmick is like they're using the toy gimmick, right? What for for using their ships, yeah. the toys and stuff. It's like okay, so not a lot of people are gonna play that game, but until they did the whole Star Fox, it's like okay, yeah. Now, I run now you have a now you have a, now you have a reason for people to buy it. Yep. So uh, yeah, Nintendo didn't win because Smash Bros didn't impress me. I mean, I'm glad that they did that. I'm glad too. But it's not gonna be something that I'm like, yeah, like until they show story mode or other stuff. Too. I wasn't excited for Pichu coming back. I'm like, really? Pichu well, they hurts put in, himself. They put all, all the characters yes. there, so I know. But don't worry, he'll just be on the bottom of the tier list next yeah. to Little Mac. Of course. Yeah. Hmm. It'll be a shit show. Yeah. It'll be great. So yeah. Well, is, was there any other? I don't know. There uh, were some other stuff, but. Honestly, no Smash one remembers the Smash cares. Brothers. Yeah. The only thing. Yeah, that's all. They, and everyone's like, "Ooh, best game ever!" Like, no, fuck you. It's that's not, not the true. Best game. Unless fucking uh, Devil May Cry showed more stuff. Like, it looked cooler than fucking Smash. Mm -hmm. So okay, so question for you, Anthony. What were the games that you were like, "Fuck yeah, I want to get them. I can't wait." Uh, the Devil May Cry Five, and that's it, really. Really? That's yeah. Right. For me, it was. Uh, Remember, I don't watch trailers that much. Like I already, I already care about Spider Man and Last of Us Two, and Ghost of Tsushima. Like I don't need yeah. to reiterate that again. Just something new. Devil May Cry Five. Devil May Cry Five. Else new I Ghost care of about. For me, it's Devil May Devil May Cry Five. Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe Skulls and Bones, but we'll see more. Maybe I don't trust Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just as bad as uh, freaking EA most of the time. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Fire Emblem, obviously. I can't say no. Because mm -hmm. I'm a fucking fanboy of that shit. Thank God I only played Awakening. Yeah, fuck you. And now I can't even play the other one if I wanted to because I sold my DS. Ah, oh, you loser. Yay. And yeah, that's about it. This E3 wasn't as. Actually, would I say it's not as. Oh, okay. oh no! What? Shut up! I'm a monster. You're an asshole. All we are assholes for forgetting this fucking game. Which one? Resident I... Evil 2. Oh, oh my god! god I knew it was fuck. something. Yes. Yeah. Like, just for a second. Was, like, how the fuck can we forget? That's oh why. My god. That's why <laughs> Sony won. Resident Evil 2. Fuck you. Yeah, Resident Evil 2. Is I say no one to. won at the C3. But right. then I just thought of Resident Evil, and that's like oh the fucking god. nail. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I saw gameplay. It looks fucking great and scary. Oh. Resident Evil 2 looks awesome. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, but, okay, yeah, I like, I am I like that, that they, uh, they're they not doing a full-on like uh, full on just like remastered or anything. No, they're mm -hmm. doing a remake where the characters look different, voiced by different actors. Can they do what they Have, did in Metal Gear Solid 3, where you can get the old mode anyway? What? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3, there was an option where you can make the camera classic. Oh, probably, yeah. And then have yeah. it be screen to screen. No, it's not gonna do, they're not gonna do that. I think they, they are probably gonna do that as an option. I no, doubt no, it. No, 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 but you don't seem like the game they were designed it to make it, first of all, they want to make it scary, so yeah. a lot of areas are gonna be dark. So yes. you can't do the whole still camera thing. Mm -hmm. I think they're gonna implement it anyway. Because nah, they redesigned yeah. the enemies, they have to. Yeah. It, when Resident Evil Two before, they only had maybe two at a time. For yeah. Because you couldn't spin or move around that well, but now that you can move well, 
That's two enemies. They're gonna be chumps, so they need more. No, yeah, it'll be yeah, it'll be weird. Actually, if they put Resident Evil Two like just like a so like extra thing, like hey guys, you have the PS One version, have fun in it. Oh yeah, that'd be great. That'll be great. In there. So yeah. Sonic Generations, it. Oh. You find a PS One. Wait, wait, wait. That's why there was a PlayStation in there in the trailer. Yeah. Because you, if you um. Because you could put the disc. Yeah, in. you can place the disc in there. And then, then, then and you, you can play, play original. Resident Resident Wars. Wars. Okay, if you can do that, that'll be amazing. Actually, you know, <laughs> go all the way because the PS Four. Go put one, two, and three. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah come on. It's not. I'm not sure they're not gonna go past three. I would like them to. I want one. I would two like them to acknowledge that three exists. Hey, three is one of the three. best. It is one of the best, and no one, no one seems but to. And fucking it. nemesis! Everyone's like stars, always. Yeah, but it's always one and two. Yeah, we'll I guess about. one and two are more memorable in general overall. Three are three is the forgotten child. That that it's still really Actually, really two good. Seems more forgotten to me. No, no, it's not no, a lot of no, years, no, because I've no. never seen because I've never played two. Oh well, well that's your. Oh yeah, really no, oh yeah, really it's so forgotten that they didn't put fucking Code Veronica then four for Leon and Claire. Code Veronica is pretty. Yeah, and for that, some people. I'm not gonna be greedy and say, "Oh, he found the p- PS2 and just puts the color on it." There. I can't wait for the return of the zapping system. The zapping system. Yeah, man, the zapping <laughs> system. That's uh-huh. what they called it in Resident uh-huh. Evil 2, where you could play as Claire and Leon. Oh, I think you can do that. Yes, exactly. I can't wait for the return of the zapping system. Yeah, because uh, they didn't show any Claire gameplay, but also she's there. Yeah. But well, obviously they're gonna make her play it once it'll be like fucked up. <gasps> what if they did the fucking the Metal Gear thing where you just got their PS1 model as the <laughs> costume? <laughs> fuck, you. fuck you. I can see that. You can find the PS1 costume. Maybe yeah, after after beating the game, maybe put like a, yeah. a, a new game plus, maybe. And you can find different costumes and shit like in the other I agree. ones. Uh, yeah, Resident fuck Evil 4 costume. Also, I saw the e- like the on E3, like the to go to play the game. They made a haunted house that was just like the fucking police station. Ooh. And it looked so awesome just looking at it. I was like, damn, I want to go. Star's police station. Yeah. No, Raccoon City's police station. That's RCPD. It. Yeah. And uh, I, re- I still remember most of the police station from when I played it. The layout. Yeah, so it'll be fun. Okay, I noticed that they changed it a bit. Like, you know, on the right, there's this, like, and they change it that it's sealed up. You have to pull up, get in there. It's all dark and shit. And That's for a jump scare. Yeah. Well, and also zombies hide from mm. there. Like it's hard to see them. All right. So mm. they're, like you're just walking and like yeah, and then ah, it grabs you. Fair enough. And you cannot. It seems like you cannot fight it back like in other the other games and like Resident Evil Four. Nah, it just looks like they showed you death animations. No, it's like in the original where they grab you, they actually bite you. Yeah. And you just still have the marks though, and kind of makes kind of weirds me out that okay, does that mean Leon's infected now? No, Leon's immune. Three. <laughs> That's how he was able to survive them in four. Yeah. But yeah, Resident Evil 2 was great. It was great. Ooh. And I saw gameplay of it like for like 20 minutes and it was fucking great. They changed a few things, obviously. Also for the story. Yes. Like, you know, Leon arrives to the station and he sees this, like, the chief that's, like, in the floor mm-hmm. bleeding. Now, this guy actually actually helps you out more. And Dude, talks to you more. Do we still get to fight the sewer gator? I am. Was that three actually? No, that's two. Sewer gator. I really hope you can fight this year. The <laughs> sewer Parker. gator. Sewer gators. Yeah. They're great. And now, hopefully, this will erase that stupid game, the Raccoon City mission. Oh, yeah, that. That apparently that's they have the stupidest story mode. Oh, look, we're like raccoon. Uh, no, we're like umbrella mercenaries. What? Police officer is alive. Okay, you know whatever you're doing, drop it, kill that guy. That's the that's the story mode. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why? So you have though? to hunt down Leon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the entire purpose of the game. I'm like, aren't you guys busy with the whole gathering? No, so like, does that mean they were so bad at their job that they, they they all died before they even got to? Yeah. Because actually, like, no, 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 no. In survive. the game, it's it's non-canon. So they, yeah. when you get the when you capture him, you have the option to fight him and kill him for real, and yeah. then shoot Claire in the head and take the girl and game over, or take the or have the other where oh you save him and you kill your friends, your partners. From yeah, yeah, so you're playing as Hunk, right? Hunk, uh, Hunk is a character in that. Yeah. No, you're playing as like four that no one gives a you shit. You play about. a uh, uh, Russian lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna pretend this shit never happened <laughs> because it didn't happen. Of course, it can. It's true. Yeah, they keep making them. I know. Any Umbrella game is non-canon except yeah. for Umbrella Chronicles. 
because that's just retelling. Yeah. But yeah, oh my god, it's changed for Resident Evil talk. Oh, I speaking of Resident Evil talk, uh, I want them to remake uh, Outbreak. Oh, Outbreak Ooh. Case One and Case Two. Yeah, okay, I, I agree. The only thing I didn't like about that is that you had that super time limit that you keep on getting affected as time goes on. Yeah, mm. but they'll probably uh, and, change that. And that was like sort they of like they the train one, so whatever's possible. Yeah, mm. we'll see. You know what? No, you know what they need to recreate that 4D movie. Never seen it. The 4D movie. Like there was this uh, mm. movie they showed in Japan. Like it's like with like 4D with glasses and all that. Oh yeah. Oh. And it's so fucking creepy. Like it has like. Shittier graphics than the pre- like the like you know the CG scenes from Resident Evil Three. That's what makes yeah. creepy. But it's so creepy. Ooh. What if uh when are, when are they gonna bring back that one girl? Um, Ooh. Ada. Shit. No, Ada sucks. I hate her. The other one, the one in Resident Evil One. With oh. Jill. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, Fanny Pack Girl. Uh, oh, Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah, they Rebecca did. Chambers they did. They did in the movie in the new one. The they made. I don't care about the movie when she became a playable canon, character bitch. again. That's canon. No, she doesn't. She doesn't do. She's a med- She's a doctor now. She doesn't do the whole fighting anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. She, she can best. still probably. She can still. She's fight. competent still, yeah. but. I mean, I mean, sure. In the movie, when sure. her zombies gonna attack the hospital she works in, so I can uh, place they her did. again. Yeah. They did. She survived. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I can place her again. No, no. The movie. I want her hospital to get attacked, so she. She, she already got her hospital. I just wanted her to be a boy. Dude, character. that movie was so weird and dumb, but I loved it too. Cause they had had Leon trained super emo going oh, John yeah. Wick on the zombies, and he, just, and then he fucking blows up half like a fucking street in New York. Okay, yeah. you know those freeways in New York he's getting chased by zombie dogs he shoots them down like oh god make sure they're dead grabs some grenade and throws them in the back and like explode like dude there's people driving whoa can I also put the doom theme while he did that dun 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 maybe he just put an edit of that scene would be great I mean, they already put the John Wick music on <laughs> that scene where mm. Leon and Chris are fighting the zombies in that little hallway Ooh. And yes, Leon. Oh yeah, and also that stupid scene where they're shooting, where he's fighting, where Chris is fighting the main bad guy, and they're shooting the floor and all that. Oh yeah, that dumb shit. That's like <laughs> this is the dumbest, greatest fight scene I've ever seen in yes. history. Okay, so that's the new movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's the last. All one. right, I didn't even know. I see. Yeah. yeah, I need to get the other two. I, I like the second one the most, in my opinion. It was like the most competent in terms of storytelling. Ooh. I, mean, I thought you were talking about the live action ones by that no, one. No, we're talking guy. about the CG. The CGs. We're oh, ignor- we're, wait, what, we're ignoring the, the live action because yeah, they yeah. don't matter. You know that guy's making a Monster Hunter movie. I know. Ah, yeah, with his wife again. Again. And it's apparently it's an isekai story. Nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, Americans dude gets... make the best isekai. Dude gets <laughs> transported to Monster Hunter World. He wants to say something. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just You just mentioned movie. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. They I saw a trailer of... Um, they're making a sequel to Unfriended. It's called Unfriended. Oh my like God! Dark shut, Web. Shut nice. up. We don't. Talk, <laughs> really? I don't want to. Okay, only gonna. I'm just excited for it just for the reviews. I wanted to bomb and get. Re- <laughs> I want to see YMS's review. Yeah. It should have been called Unfollowed. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a YouTuber now. <laughs> <laughs> my God. But yeah, uh, yeah. Resident Evil. We're happy that it's back mm-hmm. to horror, and Resident Evil Four, play style. Nice. With less kicking, I bet. No, Probably. more kicking. They're gonna, yeah. they're gonna limit the whole. Well, then again, he is, he is starting off as a cop, so yeah, so he's, not. he's rookie cop. No, no, no. But then again, no, wait, isn't he a detective in there? He, he's a no, cop. he's like a rookie he's cop. Rookie, rookie cop. You sure? Yeah, he's a I'm, cop. I guess he's I, not a detective. I think there was a because they show. I think I showed some art, like Capcom just put on Twitter. A picture like a like a picture from all like in the Raccoon City uh, police station where like Leon goes with that little like you know those birthday party hats and has welcome Leon and all that and all his zombie buddies are there like all the other officers are zombies and and his chief who's like still bleeding like uh they all look like eh. there was also another game I was pretty excited for but not a lot of people were I'm like eh, I kind of like it because it was um by the same creators that did Little Big Planet. Yes. Oh, dreams. Yeah, dreams. I was. Oh shit! Sure, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that looks really cool. Nah. My first thought about it. It's actually just a game maker. I know. Thing. That's why I'm so excited. Like for a it. full thing. They showed off like. You like, mean like you mini. mean it's Project Spark? Yes. But better. It seems that way. 
Yeah, so that's why. Like, they have a full fucking MIDI keyboard, and you can make your own music in it. Yeah. Nice. And all that stuff. Tweak the physics that's themselves. Well, yeah, we probably missed a few games that were really good, but yeah. I don't know, it's just... For one, for one, I only yes, slept my like friend Pedro. only slept like two hours all day today. So there's that. No Saints Row news. I'm. You walked in on I me figured. while I was asleep. Even. Well, uh, yeah. right? well, you bum were asleep at ten in the morning. Who yes. the who the fuck does that? Me, me. Yeah. You were fucking asleep until like twelve or one. Yeah, because I got off work at five. See, forgive him. I went to work at two. Okay. In the morning. It's bad. It's actually. I prefer to stay awake through all of it over freaking waking up at that time. You trust me. It's worse. Yeah, you know? it is. It's no. easier to stay up late than wake up early. Yes. Went to work at ten, got up at five, or no, got home at five. Yeah, but okay. That was our E three cover. Yeah. I, there's some stuff we missed, and we'll probably talk about it another oh, time. I'm gonna remember yeah. it when I get. To yeah, we're gonna get home and we're gonna be mad. Yeah, yeah. but you're if gonna realize anyone you're like, listening, oh, fuck, fuck, I forgot to talk about anyone I listening. Know. If you, I know you please, guys never comment, but please comment down below and tell us, us, remind us, what did we forget? All right. Yeah. Now, there is actually still some stuff to talk about outside of E3. Um, first, let's talk about Kenny Omega. Okay. First of all, he went to E3. And beat the shit. I probably beat the shit out of the New Day. Okay, perfect. You know Good who thing. the New Day? No, it's just that it's E three related still, yeah. so we kind of didn't yeah, get out of there. the thing. <laughs> but uh, right. and he actually here's the thing. I was like, uh, when I saw it on Twitter, but he took a picture with Low Tier God. And, yeah. And and everyone was trying to make, talk talk to Low Tier God. Hey, you should totally be a wrestler. You have the body. Like, and like, no, I don't want that douchebag near wrestling. Get the fuck out. I don't it's, know. A lot of people really like low tier God, even though he's a total douche. It's true. But they like they legit, they legitimately like him. They treat him like if he's an actual good player and all that. Yeah. And I'm like, it's because he talked shit to that one cosplayer once, where he called her a hoe. No, he and also was like, oh. No, he, his behavior on Twitch is always horrible. So. It is. It's, he's an awful person. Yeah, he's an awful person. But yeah, it's like I've heard the theory before, where everyone loves a good villain, and low tier God is the villain. But even Kenny, even Kenny Omega probably wouldn't like him. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. He probably never rarely sees him. Well, whatever. Jokes. But uh, also, yeah. he uh, he he became the IWGP Heavyweight Champion in Japan. So he's officially the best wrestler in the world, no matter what Vince McMahon tries to tell you otherwise. Oh boy! Because and no one knows about him still. Actually, a lot of people. Be, you know, his shirts are selling on Hot. No, because everyone's now. like. Just all about fucking uh, still John Cena, like you know. Oh yeah, but it's okay. But the more like hardcore wrestling fans, they all know. New they Japan. they know Kenny Omega for they, sure. Like everyone, even like of course you see Bullet Club shirts and and Hot Topic. Yeah, I don't even, know if that's a good gauge. Yeah, even we're talking Cap- about mainstream yeah, appeal yeah. in general. Yeah, obviously. If you but, asked a normie, he wouldn't tell you what Kenny but Omega dude, was. But you're aware that he's probably more successful, like like income wise, than most wrestlers and all that. Probably he, he, because he made his own hype and everything. He's he self built. He didn't require the mighty McMahon to help him out. So now that he makes just needs him to more be in a Hollywood movie. And also to win the belt, he did. A, okay, I don't know if you know this, but there's rankings on each match. Like, like some of the critics and all that, they do the five, like the typical five star rating. Like that's like the highest for Kenny Omega. He against the guy he he beat for the belt. For like four times in a row, they've been doing six star matches, mm-hmm. aka the best matches you've ever seen in your entire life. Paul saw one. Remember we, when we went to the X? Yeah. That was like their third match. Hmm. Yeah, like the other two were also as good, and the, this one as well. And it was fucking great. And he, yes, he did a lot of beat triggers. I know that. Mm. He did a mid air beat, beat trigger. Ooh. And. Uh, yeah, Kenny Omega is the best wrestler in the world. Because, okay, I was going to explain to you. Hulk, even Hulk Hogan said that belt has more prestige than any other in the world. And he really wanted it back in the day. Because he considered the, you know, the WWE belt. He said, he said, oh, it's just like a trinket. Like a fancy trinket. Mm. Because that's what it is. A fancy trinket. trinket. Yep. It has, yeah. like, anyone, anyone. Actually, you know, even the Lucha Underground belt has more legit. Like, it's much better than the fucking WWE one. Even though it's a show that happens every once a year. So yes. like, or like 20 episodes. Or that's why it matters more. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. That's why it matters yeah, more. That's what makes it more valuable. 
Because, like, you have an entire season to win it. If you're not, next mm-hmm. year. Exactly. You got to train all year. Get good. And yeah. also, well, obviously, we... Okay, I don't really know this, Anthony, but wrestling isn't really real. It's true, it's not. <laughs> but, it's <laughs> but, but the good wrestling is the one that looks so real, you can't even tell. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they bust their eyes out. Real blood. Yeah, actually, Kenny Omega almost busted his eye out in, over there in Long Beach when I saw him. Nice. Because he got super kicked like five times in the face for reals. Mm. So technically, wrestling is real, but at the same time, it's scripted. Yeah. The the outcome is scripted, but the, and, the fighting, holy shit. Yes. They'll fuck you up. And uh, mm. and in New Japan, it's not about, oh, he looks mu- he looks muscular and big, let's put him... As- no, no, no. It's just your work. If you do good work... They'll reward you. So nice. So Perfect. this other thing I want to talk about. Well, yeah. Paul, Paul brought it up. Oh yeah, I'm great. curious about this. Uh, Cal Arts fake shooting. Oh yeah. So <laughs> anywho, this that have anything to do with Thundercats? Yes. Right? <laughs> I was gonna ask. You. Okay, so yeah, it does actually. <laughs> what? This far right person, this far right, right whatever, nut wing. Left. He left no, not, wing not or right wing? Right wing. Right. Uh, here's the thing, Paul. I know, I know. That yeah. accusation's been around for a while. I'm considered a right wing according to all the liberal bastards, so and I'm not. Yes. But anywho, um, yeah. So he decides to make a fake. He's he calls. You know, he he does a post on Twitter and says, "Hey, you got some of you guys are all right, but uh, don't come to school this certain oh, day." Oh, fucking <laughs> that cliche. <laughs> And he sends a picture of uh, like this little uh, cutout uh, green guy with bullet holes in him. Uh huh. <laughs> and so yeah, the police, b- but surprise, but luckily school was out. The idiot should have done his research. School oh, was out. it was vacation. It was vacation time, but still, police were still told to go there because there were some people there, like you know, just like janitors or whatever. Yeah. To go there and stuff, and then. The reason that he did that was because he's so mad at CalArts because of the whole CalArts style and the Thundercats war thing. Oh, yeah. That's why. Right. But it's it. not like CalArts was like, well, I know there are the ones who are saying, oh, yeah, fuck anime looking art style. CalArts art style, the Steven Universe. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah. Steve, the person that made Steven Universe didn't go to CalArts. I know. Right, but I'm just talking about in yeah, general. I, know. I mean, I know. And neither that- did the person from the Dick. Okay, KO. <laughs> Yeah, I understand, but that's like the art style they, they consider like more favorable. Yeah. I Which mean, it, it's just so simple and easy to do and to work with. So. Yeah. But it's kind of weird how they're starting to go like, yeah, anime is cool and all, but you know what's the hot shit? This. And everyone is starting to go, no, fuck you, we hate that. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing that I learned from uh, school and stuff. It's it's all right if you do something that's anime light, but a lot of companies do not want you to do straight up full anime. It's true. And I'm like, well, what do you think that people coming into this industry are inspired by? Yeah. So that is true. At well, some they point, want you to have variation. And a yeah. lot, yeah, and also a lot of a lot of the like you know the DC stuff like Young Justice looks kind of anime ish. Yeah, it does. And a lot of them, like a lot of those, and the st- also the you know the directed. It's DVD. been stigmatized, and I can tell. I understand why, because you know you don't have to be an art cast for very long to find that person that's watched a little bit too much Full Metal Alchemist, and it's like, <laughs> look at my original character. Oh, and, and they look just okay. Yeah. They don't have to look like Full Metal Alchemist yeah, yeah. or Naruto. I think those are like the worst ones, or Bleach. Yeah. Bleach, Naruto, the full, actually, yeah, actually, full metal alchemist. Like, no, you see really. them, like, oh, you're an artist? Like, no, like, oh, Bleach? let me see, and they just show you their Sonic pregnancy fan art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bleach and Naruto are the ones that are, I mean, no, it is. Or just no. walk on to DeviantArt, just oh, do that, like, oh, yeah. trust me, no offense anime's to my gotten friend, a bad rap you know, because of this, but. Hey, Paul, no offense to our friend that you know who does the Bleach art style, even though yeah. I'm not gonna say his name because you're gonna have to send. Now draw some guilt to your art style, and everyone will accept you again. Actually, that looks way a lot like <laughs> if you do Berserk art style, you probably got to get in. Oh, oh man, that's not even really anime at some point. So that's good. just masterpiece. Yeah, <laughs> that's just artwork. Oh, Berserk art style, so good. It's so fucking great. Even though it takes forever to. I want to get there. I want to get there in art quality. Okay, because yeah. first of all, he has doesn't he ink it as well? Yes, he does. He, so uh, he does all the work, so he doesn't have that many assistants, and he's basically playing Idol Master. 
fuck. <laughs> Which is why his hiatuses are so long. Yeah, I mean, not only the art, like the art style, making him take forever, the fucking game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, to some people, it's downgraded over the years because it's become more pop y. Like not really. Try to draw shit. the same shit he does, and you'll see how pop e it is. Yeah. I don't you know, saw man. okay that one that pic that one picture of Farnese everyone keeps bringing up is really bad. Maybe, but that's like one pen out of like thou like thousands of it. Mm. And also, let's not forget. Remember that big battle? Like, uh, man, I don't know if you're how far in the manga you are, but oh no, wait. But what about that Casca picture where she looks like a lizard? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But like I said, remember that big remember battle? Remember, I showed it to you. Okay, you, you guys remember yeah. you know what where the like the Persian looking like uh, demon king whatever against yes. Griffith's army? Yes. You're gonna tell me each of those panels are popsy. Fuck you, there aren't. They're masterpieces. Anyway. Hey man, only Farnese's face. So what? And Casca's face. That That's one only panel. like two fucking mistakes. Get over that. Re. It's like saying, oh, there you go. That, that's all. Like we're gonna judge the entire. Franchise entire books out of those two panels. Oh, by the way, did, he, did that guy actually? He, I'm not even sure. Did he actually do the shooting, or no? Did he there, get he, he just he just made that fake thing just to okay. just to piss people off. I thought off he and showed scare up people. and then found no. no one was there and also cops. No, 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 no. He just made that just to scare people. All right. Because he's he's like one of those big um, what's it called? Big animation people that are like. That only like except I only accept two D and not three D. It's shit. Yeah. Kind of guys. You know, um, I've met someone kind of like that. Not 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 like that, but like one guy where he like I only accept Pixar animation. Everything else is garbage. Cause like we were we were talking about some stuff and I'm like oh this looks cool and like this is cool and like oh like do you like you know we, we went on to like Rick and Morty. And he's like, oh, that stuff looks so ugly. Like, it does, actually, but it's well, it's written well. What about this thing? He's like, I don't like that either. It uh, looks stupid. If it's not, like, uh, Frozen or Coco or The Incredibles, then I don't care. And <laughs> well, I'm like, that's really boring, wait, actually. Wait, okay. actually, I'm going to tell you, yeah. Because, like, I asked him, like, oh, so then, an like, anime, have you seen this thing? And he's like, I don't watch anime either. Like, that's that's where I would have... Like, we, I kept suggesting shows before eventually. He was like, none of those. Those are all for plebs and they suck. If it's not this animation, well, we, yeah, if it, yeah, because Disney, yeah, yeah or yeah. like art style, so great because it's like anime with big ass, big ass eyes. Yeah. Also, let's not remember, let's forget this, not forget let's this. Let's not forget two D animation is actually technically harder. Yeah, Tangle, fucking Big Hero Six, Frozen, and Coco, I believe. Anime inspired. Uh, and Wreck It Ralph are have almost the same designs. There no, no, it's thing. not even the designs. Just remember, like the, the 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 fidelity of the art, where it's like. If you zoom in, you can see their fucking pores and shit. Like, you know, that. Oh, that's Like, not... even, like, the anime eyes, the art style is there, but the photorealistic backgrounds and shit are also there. Like, he, he I, I guess he just accepts but that. But also, you're aware that most of the models, especially for the women, are just the same face? Yes. So, yeah, that's not great. They're not that great. He's a boring person. That's boring. I mean, have you, see, have you seen that scene with all the princesses in wreck and Ralph 2? They all look the same, just with different her her like, haircuts. It's true. Did you get kidnapped by a big dragon? No. Did you get the blah blah blah? Whatever yeah. the joke was. They've done know. a lot of stupid memes and they're not they're mm. not funny. Yeah, no, they're, they're talking about Cusco, why Cusco should be a Disney princess. Oh yeah. yeah they, and Cusco got I all of those. They, they even did with Thor. Can as you well. talk to animals? Yes. yes. I guess all that. And Thor they put him talk, talking talking to Rocket Raccoon and that kind of okay. Yeah. <laughs> that too. And uh No, it's Star Thor. Not Sora, Thor. No, yeah, Thor. I, said Thor. I thought I heard you say Sora. Sora. I don't say Sora. I, I heard Sora. Yeah. You know, all I know is that Sora, Sora it looks alright in that game. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, everyone has a hoodie now. All the three of them are hoodie guys. Nice. Even Kyrie got a hoodie. Ooh. Everyone, you get a hoodie. You Even, get a hoodie. Well, at, whatever the thing Axel is now has a hoodie too, oh, obviously. Even Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, Captain Jack gets a hoodie. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, everyone has a hoodie in that game. It's all great. It's all about now big shoes, lots of belts, zippers, and zippers, and hoodies. Yeah. Even cool. Ruby gets a hoodie. Well, speaking of Ruby, I watched it. Yeah. I don't know if I want to transition into that yet, or if you want to keep doing. No, it's fine. Okay. 
Yeah. That's like, I mentioned Blitz Blue Cross Tag Battle got me into Ruby, I guess. Yeah, it's so, so weird. I finished the entire first season. And Paul hasn't seen Ruby, right? Yeah. So uh, I mentioned it in our chat group, but I should mention it for the podcast. Um, I initially threw Ruby under the bus. Yes, you did. Super because hard. it was ugly and it looked bad and I hated the way it looked. But my standards have been lowered so bad thanks to the modern animation or anime industry insisting on using CGI even though they can't use it and suck at it that Ruby looks a thousand times better in comparison. Yes. It's the best look. And now, and now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, so this the, the Japanese like it because it's probably like revolutionary high-tech awesome. And to also them. because waifus. Yeah, that too. Yeah. But, but I'm just saying like it's so high quality. Like they're, they're probably looking at it and going like, oh, fuck, this must be expensive and awesome and amazing like, no, to make. No, it's a tiny studio. Who, yeah, it's a tiny free thing on the internet made in 2013. It looks better was, than all your shit made, made now. That was made by one uh, dude that passed Montione, away. Montione, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, and it looks better than your high-produced, uh, fucking yeah, your well, production team with forty people in it, are is outmatched by this one man that did it for free. <laughs> so, well, actually, he obviously he made money out of it. Yeah, he made money off of it, Afterwards. but holy fuck, yeah. um, it's it's fine. Uh, the episodes are pretty short, but they don't waste time. It actually works to its advantage. I mean, I, oh, yeah, I, I got like a question. It. What do you think of the bully arc that everyone hated? That one was dumb, I guess. It was, it was dumb. Fine. It was fine. It says cliche, but it served its function. Yeah, it was, but also it does it shouldn't work in a school like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Paul, I got a question. Would you, ha- would you get, like, would you, what would you do if you're, like, the headmaster of the school meant to train people to fight monsters, right? Will you accept bullying in there? Bullying? Yeah. Would bullying no. even work in there if no, everyone is fucking justice guy? Yeah. It really should. If you're superhero academy... Oh, that wait. Actually, that's a big fucking hole in my hero academia right yes, there. Yes, exactly. Now, that's why you're always so far up your ass, then... Bakugo then from my thing. hero academia should have been expelled immediately. Not even expelled and there. his uh, idiot friends. Uh, some of them. I his generic idiot friends. It's, no, it's, no Bakugo doesn't have a... Bakugo doesn't have, like... No, because it's supposed to be a superhero academy. Yeah, you can't have people but, going... But those kids didn't become villains. No. Uh, doesn't... Okay, you can't be bringing the excuse, oh, they'll become villains, so we have to let them. So you're letting potential villains will probably betray us or do more harm than good. Maybe yeah. Maybe give them all the rights. No. It reminds me of that movie Sky High. Or you could just yeah. do the thing that... Were there uh, bullies in Sky High? There were bullies in Sky High, yeah. but then they became villains. Yeah, or, no. you can, no. or you can do the thing that uh, the X-Men do, because X-Men is the only good superpower school story ever. Yeah, because they actually... Put them in, pro- like in probation or classes that they have all the all the people who misbehave yeah, and try to reform them if, and if they don't behave like, no kids you can't be villains shit you can't we're gonna be show you Bakugo you cannot have stupid I- and like, that's issue. how the villains become their thing because Magneto comes in he's yeah, like you stop. know <laughs> I can help you <laughs> like Stop trying to kill your childhood friend over something petty, asshole. Yeah, you dumb shit. He's yes, like, no. that's why that guy Baku. I think Baku. He was- helped me once. Yes, he extended his hand towards me when I fell off a fucking uh, like river or something. He I was forgot. Like, how dare you? Yeah, he was like, how dare you, you motherfucker? Dare how you? dare you save me from this slime monster, you more, bitch? I'm actually, more like. How dare you just raise your hand and ask him if I'm okay? Yeah. How dare you, you motherfucker? And he never got over it, and it's still annoying, and mm-hmm. fucking Deku's a soy boy who needs to just get over him. It's a horrible motivation. Yeah, you know Deku still wants to be his friend. Maybe sure. I s- wanted to die in that fucking river, you fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why didn't you ask me about how I felt, you bitch? That's probably going to be his motivation when he finally <laughs> confronts it. No, it's just because it was like, how dare he, this inferior kid who had no superpowers, trying to ask if I was okay. And so it's like ego thing, a psychopath. You fucking normie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, uh, That's actually the stigma in that world. And, and like I said, why isn't there more racism towards people? And why would they put kids with no powers in the same place? That well, shit, actually, didn't someone make a ver- pretty valid point where they're basically laughing at a disabled kid? Yes. Because not having superpowers is a disability in that 20, world? Pr- 20, like, 20% of the world doesn't have superpowers. You fucking crippled. 
And yeah, everyone laugh at that cripple boy. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, fuck you for being crippled, <laughs> you little bitch. So that's <laughs> why I'm like, every time I, like... Okay. I can't believe I got helped by this retard. No. <laughs> what a homo. <laughs> oh, God. Now we're just shooting at my hero companion. I love it. Oh, yes. boy. That's why I don't... I don't there's a, this is the reason why I cannot enjoy that Let's series. laugh at the autistic child. <laughs> yeah, because he just oh, makes... God. And actually, he kind of behaves kind of autistic. Oh, uh, fuck. It is a problem. How many seen his, uh, his oh. child... When he was a little kid going shaking his head like, eh, show, sure. me more, show, show me more. Oh, my, my videos on YouTube, mom. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Yeah, that, a lot of people make fun of that, too. Because they're like, come on. Kids. Speaking yeah. of special people, so Christian made a new video. God damn it. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, asking for some plugs for his um, R something 8200 Atari system or something like that. All right. Computer system. He's not doing some ASMR. No, but uh, he's asking for people um, in the near... In nearby area, if uh, they could buy one or if they have one, could they spare it for them or whatever? Mm. I don't know. So anyone in that, um, he's probably gonna break it. Hmm? Mm. Like if you let him borrow it, you're not getting it back. Probably, probably not. not. Mm. I mean, but he did take care of his metal that he built, and until someone broke it, until someone no, until someone uh, took it, they uh, first they stabbed it, they broke it, they pissed on it. <laughs> no, they burned it, then pissed on it. There we go. What oh. metal? It was a Sonic shoot. Uh, medallion, his first one. Yeah, his oh. medallion. Yeah, his medallion. But then later, after where did this happen at a con? Oh, this happened a long time oh, ago. Because no, I... because they pretended to be uh, one of his uh, uh, female Myers. friends. Yeah, female, yeah, no, female girlfriends. Oh, okay. Actually, but it turns out it was a troll. But then uh, afterwards, he's like, "Ha ha, you silly trolls! That's not how. That's not where I get my powers. I get it from my uh, class ring." Did right. someone ask for that ring? Uh, no, but he's I believe... He's probably going to safeguard no, it was like... Uh, wait, he has powers? That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, apparently he has did. powers. But um, apparently he was also trying to sell it on eBay for like a thousand. I don't know. He's selling his... He's selling well, a lot of he's stuff not gonna Well, ma- he's not going to make it that far. He doesn't get a job. Oh, and now Anthony is stripping in front of us. True. Strip. Strip you whore. Uh, I don't know. I want to put the devil make the DMC music from the club that Angry Joe played when. Just don't do the don't do the shoot your boy. Shoot your boy. your boy. Okay. No, stop that. I'm sorry. Did I ruin it? And yeah, I did. No. Which right now is putting on pants. Yeah. Stop making all those <laughs> fucking, uh, fucking asshole. He's fucking smearing his mouth on the fucking mic. Oh no, I hope he didn't get saliva on it. Uh, no. No, okay, really. cool. no, I didn't. But yeah, E3. Lots of games that are probably. Oh yeah, that fucking game made by the guy from, from Rick and Morty. He looks so dumb, but I want to play. Yeah. Cool. Uh, fuck, I forgot the name of it. Um, Billy's Adventure or something. Bill, uh, Travis? No, Travis? uh, Trover Saves the Universe. Yeah, I remember it. Uh, Tra- Tr- no, Trover. Oh, I thought it would be Trevor. Shit. Yes. <laughs> hey, man, I'm about to pass the fuck out. We us go eat something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, eat your veggies, kids, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay and, in school. And don't watch My Hero Academia. Just watch Zayn Not the Not the new Omega spin-off. If you watch uh, My Hero Academia, you support bullying retarded kids. Yes. Do you bully retarded kids? Such as Chris Chan? Exactly. Okay, people shouldn't bully him. Just, it's kind of fucked up. He's very sad. Yeah, yes, sad, he's sad, but he's so interesting. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Honestly. I can't stop Very watching any of his videos. Uh, I guess he's more now. fascinating than us because he gets more views. Yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah. See you later.